At the Balverde Spring Branch Library, just north of San Antonio, people are checking out more than books and media. This is not just a library. This is a community center. We have programs for adults, for children. Uh, being sort of out in the country here, it's a place for people to come and socialize. So when the new building opened in 2008, friends of the library and Kamal Master Gardeners dug in to extend the community outdoors in a butterfly garden. When we were in another building before we built this beautiful new library, I had an idea for a butterfly garden and I intended that it would be a learning tool for adults as well as children. They sited it at the edge of the parking lot, enclosing its sanctuary from a harsh view to busy highways below. They just say, okay, let's do that, and they do it. They don't wait, you know, till, oh, let's think about this and plan it. I mean, they do it. If it doesn't work, they don't do it again. If it does work, how do we improve on it? We invited the master gardeners uh, to come in and help us design, and there were about 12 of them who came over, and we walked out on the property, and one of them brought a spray can and said, okay, here's where we're going to do this bed and this bed, and you want it sort of curved. You don't want the hill to block the, the butterflies. You want to be able to see over the hill, but you need to block the wind. And so it started from that, and then it evolved. We put out a notice to library patrons that we would like plants donated, and we got quite a few. And then among us, we all had some plants. We had a couple of nurseries that donated a few plants. Mostly they came from within our committee. Both Charlotte and uh, Lee are great propagators. We use the free mulch from the county. And uh, then the Friends of the Library set aside some money uh, to be spent on things like the decomposed granite and that sort of thing. We have a lot of mulch down. We have brought in no soil. This is all native soil but the mulch has helped to compost it. We've put newspaper under the mulch, which holds the moisture in some and keeps the weeds down. To select plants, they took a cue from the ones nature had planted on the windy hilltop. We've tried to keep this garden very natural without a lot of alien species, and I think we've been true to that. They went for deer resistance, evergreen structure, and plants that cycle flowers throughout the year for visual pleasure and to feed resident and migratory wildlife. In the wintertime, a lot of people don't know, but rosemary, either upright or trailing, will bloom with little blue flowers. The morning, if you have a sunny morning where it's 70 degrees, after you've had 25 overnight in this part of Texas, you'll have blue flowers on there, and amazingly, you go out at 10 in the morning and there's sulfur butterflies. That's a, that's a great nectar source during the winter for butterflies that become active when the temperature gets above 70. Well, one of my favorites is the blue mist flower, which is a fabulous plant for attracting queen butterflies, which resemble monarchs. They're very closely related, but they are here all summer, where the monarchs come through on migration in the spring and make a generation, and in the fall, they're going back to Mexico where they overwinter. The queen is here all summer long. They bookmark each plant. If it's working here, I can do it at home because the conditions, the climate, the soil is the same. And what the heck's the name of this plant, you know? And so getting those tags on has been, I think, key to the educational experience of seeing the plants, so to speak, in the flesh. To educate patrons about the garden's butterflies, Friends photographer Charlotte Trussell documents them and their life cycle for a library display. Back outside, patrons go on a discovery hunt to find the eggs and larvae they've come to recognize. It's sort of like the chicken and the egg. Which came first, the butterfly, the egg, or the larva? You have to account for all different stages. And we have plants here that do draw the butterflies for larva. Then we have other plants that provide nectar for them once they turn into butterflies. We also have plants that provide neither but are shelter during bad weather. Friends of the library, Lisa Reed, found a new passion, documenting wildlife with her camera. Lee and his son, Michael, are well attuned to the garden's visitors. 
To supplement butterfly food, especially in dormant seasons, Pat Robertson paints a plank with a concoction of beer, brown sugar, and overripe bananas. There's always fresh water. Although the plants don't need much tending, master gardeners like Bill Puckett and Peggy Ham tidy things up and water new plants until they're established. Thanks to a grant, a 40,000 gallon rainwater tank feeds the drip system for established plants. And what's a garden, especially a library garden, without a comfy place to read? With mosaic artistry, the master gardener styled up an ordinary bench. Thanks to community partnerships, the Bolverde Spring Branch Library bridges knowledge from inside out. And uh, part of the knowledge we try to impart at, at this library, as well as the two others in Comal County, are to, to have it be an example of, uh, of what will work here. They come out and they look at plants and they say, well, if they can grow it here, I guess I can grow it at home. In the summer, they even teach classes to the little kids and they bring them out here and they walk them through and they teach them how to grow things. And so the, the friends that are doing this, are, they really have done so much to help the patrons, but the patrons love it. I mean, you see them out here all the time and you know, they've been adding things like the picnic table and the benches, but you see families with their kids out here reading a book you know, and, it, and the kids just love the butterflies and they'll find caterpillars and they'll be like, oh, we have to put it back. It's really amazing. It has just been wonderful. And a couple of times I've come out and there have been a, uh, children out here that the, the mother has been saying, we came to get books. And they have said, we have to do the butterfly garden first. We have had people here from out of state who come and take pictures and say they're going back and they're going to build a garden in their area.